Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, with me is... The Wheatley. Yeah, I, I agree. And we're gonna go ahead and start a new game in the survival mode. My favorite kind of mode. And in here, we're going to get uh, randomly selected items from the game. The game is going to choose. That we did that in the last episode, where we played the Fatman difficulty. This time, we're gonna go ahead and do Sub Bomber, just to show you how mean the game is. Uh, when it thinks what we should get to survive. So let's see how that goes. We're gonna start off right off the bat with uh, day one. No scavenging. That's 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 the survival mode. And let's see what we get. Wow. Okay. Interesting. This is really sparse. Three bottles of water, three cans of food, ammunition, box spray, boy scout book. Which means we're actually good in terms of first aid kits. At least I think so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, well, start this off. Timmy is safe and that's what matters. Right. Birdie got it in time ourselves. We have no idea what happened to Mary Jane and Dolores. Maybe they're okay. Maybe they got obliterated and are now just dust. Who knows? Our shells are full of cans. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, man, I mean, three cans, that's, that's not too much. But we're going to roll with it. So we've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done. Like trimming that shrubbery. Shrubbery! I agree. Always important to trub your shrubbery. If you know what, if you, if you catch my drift. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, plan ahead by designating uh, a expedition for tomorrow. And we're gonna send Timmy, because we have a med kit. I wish I had a gas mask, but no. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us, it's alive in the bunker. It's time to teach who's the boss around here with nothing. Let's just punch it in the face. I hope that we don't go crazy. Well, we seem to be okay, but it, I think it's stole a soup, yes. As we were running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. Damn it. The question is, how did that devil fit it through those little holes? I have no idea either. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long, and Ted needs to drink something. Ah, it's fine, don't worry. As long as he's not tired or exhausted, we're good. You just want to stay here, or are you shy today? I don't know. Sometimes he's shy. All right, it's day four. Things are looking good so far. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. Nah. All right, we got an earthquake. We don't have to worry about any of those things, Wheatley, because see, look, look, we don't, we don't have a gas mask. We don't have a radio or a torch, so none of these things can break actually. So that's, I mean, it sucks that we don't have those things, but they can't break on the same, can't break. So I, I, you gotta look. The, I'm an optimist. All right, anyone hurt? Hopefully not. This entire place is a mess. Yeah, I, I, I bet it is. All right, uh, drink. Yes, let's give him something to drink. And this is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. I will not give him the med kit because I think we're going to need that for Timmy. Uh, he might get a little crazy or tired. Mm. Oh, he's tired. Isn't he? No, actually, he's fine. That went well. Bravely ignoring symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour's sleep. No luck. Well, I mean, we're tired, but apparently it doesn't affect our character that much. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Good. Oh, we hear someone knocking at the door. Who could it be? Maybe it's the merry man bringing us soup or something else useful. Or it's just pranksters. One of those two things. Haven't really encountered too much else that early uh, around. Let's see. Ah, that, nobody there. Damn pranksters. Damn pranksters during the apocalypse. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, what to do about that? Um, how about we're going to give you soup? The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player. It's the merry man. The merry men are here and they're taking from the rich and giving it to the poor. I'm just going to assume I'm poor now uh, because just look at the lack of stuff. So maybe they'll give us something. Yes, actually, they gave us something. They gave us a radio. That's nice. Those married folks were very kind. They noticed we didn't have a radio and so offered us one. Nice. Very good. That's going to get us a little bit closer to our goal being rescued by the military. Okay, where's water when Ted needs it? It's in the shelf. He's going to get it eventually. Our ammunition is missing. Oh, no. Oh, no. We had it. And I don't have a torch to look for it. Well, we lost our ammunition. That's a bummer. We could have rubbed that all over us. Let's see what Timmy brought. Timmy, you're completely useless. You useless piece of... <sighs> the search was futile. We gained nothing from this excursion. But he got sick. That's, that's great. Great. And we're going to have to heal him. Because if we don't heal him, he, yeah, he's going to die. And then we can't send anyone out. Because we can't send Ted. You can only send... Um, 
someone if there's at least one adult in the bunker. All right, so we got a radio. Let's listen in. Not that we can do anything for that matter. We do not have any items required to deal with the military. At least Timmy is not sick anymore. So that's good. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Yeah, sure. For both of you. Timmy is probably still hungry. Yep. I'm gonna give him a second soup. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna give him a second soup. Not not Ted. And then we're gonna see. Um, it should should work out. Alright, good news everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies. <laughs> I don't have a gas mask, so I'm not gonna get the supplies. Not that we cared before because we just sent Timmy out, but apparently now we need a gas mask. It's it's uh, always the same spiel. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Timmy's very hungry, has rested. Nothing going on with Ted. Alright, good. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna ignore Timmy here, but we're gonna start an expedition for tomorrow because we can probably send Timmy out again. He's luckily not tired anymore. Sometimes it takes many, many a days until they wake up again. By that I mean they're not exhausted anymore. So, yep. Timmy's very hungry. Well, Timmy, that sucks to hear, but we're gonna send you out again. Because the first time it totally blew. You would really, really sucked at it. So, better make up for it now. Alright, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Well, probably die. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Here's some food, Ted. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by a professional and very cruel rat catcher. Alright, let's go ahead and use the Boy Scout book. Hopefully that's gonna work out. Nope, we got sick. Lovely. That's... Oh man, I'm on a roll today. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured it is full of pointers on how to fix things. Anyway... We were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Just lovely. All right, good, great, fantastic. Got infected by something. Ah, lovely. We're about to finish dinner if you can call when we heard someone knocking. Oh, he would trade ammunition for probably food. If only I didn't misplace it. Or the Merryman stole it. I'm pretty sure the Merryman stole it. Merryman. All right, so. We could tell the stranger was disappointed. Yeah, who cares? Ted looks like I want foot in the grave. All right, time for water. And hopefully Timmy brings back a med kit. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great Uncle Terry. I thought Terry was an ass. Just saying. I, I thought he was an ass. All right, it's day 16. Ted is still alive, barely. It's been calm for him. Didn't get a message yet of Timmy being lost or so. And, ah, shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal the aircraft. Ha ha ha. Jokes on you. I don't have a, I don't have a flashlight. Also, no, no, no speech ability, apparently. All right, then. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camped near our shelter. We can probably assume he's coming back. Nah. Really? Timmy? Alright, the signal has to wait. Ted hasn't recovered. Well, unless we get some magical occurrence now, some magical event that will give us a med kit. I mean, we do have a box spray. If we get the crazy idea to create a box uh, a med kit from a box spray, then we should be fine. Ted should drink something. Yes, Ted. Just two days or so. That's the only chance that I currently see. The only chance that I have is the med kit. All right, we went crazy. That's lovely. Uh, is the bug spray creating a med kit with bug spray? However, that works. Uh, you got one foot in the grave. He's crazy. Ah, just it's all great right now. It's so lovely. <sighs> it, this game is cruel. Day twenty. Ted is still crazy. He has an affair with a sock puppet. Let's not go into details. Ted is hungry. Ted looks like a here. Have that. Greedy, greedy man. Uh, we decided to peek outside for a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness. It's Pancake. We're just gonna scream at him because that's all we can do. If we would use the box spray, we would lose our chance to use that as a med kit. Pretty much the only thing that I can do. Oh, actually no other events this day. Interesting. The, the game has nothing to report to me. Uh, for an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise. Oh, no. From under the floor. Oh, a manhole. Okay, I thought for a second the raiders were trying to break in. But, yeah. Giant manhole in the bunker that we haven't checked in the last 20 days. What happened? 
Going into a tight dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises. They're giving us the creeps up here. Yeah, Ted is probably going to go even more crazy now, or... His crazy meter is off the charts. I don't know how long he's going to make it here. I don't know if he runs out first or if he dies first. Where's water when Ted needs it? It's right behind him. I just decided to not give him anything, and it's the military again. And they again want us to use our flashlight to signal them. Not happening. Oh, we're just sitting this out now, hoping for that one event that might save us all. Okay. Still nothing. Oh, we were huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on one of the walls, we changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Absolutely. Let's eat the mushrooms. Mmm. Okay, that was probably not a good idea. Then again, I was already sick, so... Yeah, those were delicious. Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark, and now we're a little... Two for that matter. I was already sick, so I really don't care. Honestly. At least we're full. You know, delicious mushrooms, delicious glowing mushrooms. It's day 25, Ted, day 26, and Ted is still alive. He's still hanging on, on the thread of his sock. Uh, Ted keeps behaving really oddly. Yes, I bet he's fighting his inner demons. Together with Sock Puppet, they're gonna be a Superman, superhero duo. There it goes again, noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Waltz, is it something bad at the door? We don't know, and it is driving us insane. Yeah, we're gonna get even more insane than we already are. It's just one thing after the other, making sure that we're losing our little mind. I'm pretty sure we already did. Autumn can really get you to you in the shelter. It can lead to dark places. Trust us. Us. You and the Sock Puppet? I think that's it. Okay, good, good. There isn't a lot of space here down, and we can smell everything. Ooh, one of the wall bricks got loose, and there's a smell coming from it. Let's check it out. It might be a red, and it might injure us. Or we're going to get a... Never mind. Ted died. Ted just died. It's that just what happened. We looked into the fearing something... Uh, into the whole fearing something might come at us, and we found... A soup can. Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. He didn't make it. Ah well, that was the Tsar Bomba difficulty in the survival mode. As you can see, it's pretty hard. Uh, really hard to win this one. Um, and we're gonna keep going with challenges in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know there haven't been a lot of videos lately of 60 seconds. I'm spacing them out a little bit. I'm waiting for the DLC right now, uh, which might come out soon. Uh, so let's hope that that happens. And uh, yeah, if you guys got ideas what to do in the game, more challenges, leave in the comments below. I'll check them out. Thanks again so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.